Today, unfortunately, marks the end of our great weather. And we'll be in Mackinac City until it calms down, maybe a week later. One thing is for sure is that these ferries throw a massive wake. The water is like a washing machine. I'm just grateful that it was a short cruise. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning from Mackinac Island. It's our last morning here. And we're gonna start by getting Ollie out on the island because as you guys saw in the last two videos, we had some bikes which were fantastic. We had so much fun, but we did not bring Ollie with us. So we're gonna take her to a beach with rocks. Today, unfortunately, marks the end of our great weather that we've had since Perry Sound pretty much. The top end of the Georgian Bay, the entire North Channel, we had sunshine and light winds. But coming into Lake Michigan, the forecast all next week shows like three to four footers. Yeah, and the wind is in the 15 range of sustained winds with gusts up to 20 to 25 knots, which is not at all our cruising comfort zone. <laughs> We have a matrix of what winds and swell we prefer, and it's so far above it that we're gonna be going to Mackinac City today, which we still have high winds today, but it's the winds before the storm. And we'll be in Mackinac City until it calms down, maybe a week later. We are walking down the road called 185. It is the ring road around Mackinac Island. And we are heading to about one, one and a half miles in where there is a beach that we passed by yesterday that has some great rocks. And Ollie, from her time in Canada, loves rocks. So we're gonna introduce her to the Michigan rocks, which I'm sure she's going to love. Oh boy. Good job, Ollie. You got every single rock. All right, let's, let's start the day.
one thing is for sure is that these ferries leaving from Mackinac Island to Mackinac City and St. Ignace throw a massive wake and I don't know if you could time it better than we did but we had like four ferries across past us in the front and the back within the first like five minutes of leaving the harbor and uh, I turned into it um, to minimize the impact but still we were just like doot, 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 doot. like at least like five feet waves swell from the ferries so that's not the most enjoyable you know just worried about like everything flying off but we have gotten pretty good at but bolting everything down and making sure everything is latched. If you're not prepared for that and that hits you on the beam, that could cause some serious damage. Oh, do you not like beam swells? No, swells are scary. They're very scary. But you're a strong puppy, okay? Today's cruise has been uh, rough. Yeah, it's not, bueno. it's not the most enjoyable cruise. It's not the worst cruise ever. However, the water is like a washing machine. And I do not like washing machine water. It just makes it feel as though there's very little control over the boat, even though I'm sure that there is logically, but that's how I feel. But overall though, the waves are low. The forecasted waves for today were one foot waves, three foot period. And I'd say that's probably about accurate or like close to it maybe. But the worst part has just been the ferries. As the ferries go by, it just, they just throw that gnarly wake and makes for the, the not the nicest of crews. And we were thinking today at this time, it's probably the most busy time for the ferries. It's a Sunday morning in late August, great weather in this weekend. So everybody is probably faring back from the island that stayed overnight last night. And uh, so there's just, you know, it's a very, very high demand. But over, oh yeah, there's another one leaving. Excellent. Hey. And they don't really like, um, they don't care. They don't care. They and absolutely do not they, care. Yeah, um, they don't care at all. One, and two, they do not follow a like no wake zone or anything like that, especially like in the harbor or like within the break walls. Like, they really push it. Like, they really- They're still within, but they're almost out and they just- Yeah, like when they're almost out, but they're still in. They're like, they go. So, yeah, here's another one. But overall though, the cruise has been really great. I'm just grateful that it was a short cruise. We <laughs> made This water in Lake Huron is so beautiful. Oh, it's so calm. It's so hey, how's it going? Good. Good. We just need some diesel and a pump out. Whew. Mission accomplished, we just bought over $600 worth of fuel. Two pump outs, each for $15 each, which, because we have two tanks, definitely the most expensive pump out yet, but they, they did a good job. And um, remember, we keep all of our expenses on our website for how much the Great Loop is costing us. So make sure you guys are going there. We'll put a link here to see if we do month by month expenses. Oh, that was a good start. We are deferring to the massive boat that will absolutely not stop for us. Trawler speed.
Thanks, Art and Sharon, for catching yeah. our lines. Well, my pleasure. <laughs> I knew you were coming. And do you know how I knew? Because your boat project was done? No. I saw your Starlink in the office. Oh. Ah. oh. Good job docking. High five. High five. High five. Come on, give me the high five. Thank you. Let's go check in. If only you gave me 30 gigabytes download and 20 gigabytes upload. We have a solution, hopefully through our internet problems. In real time, our videos will probably be coming out steadily, but now it's been two weeks since we published a video and you guys have left us tons of comments like just wishing we were okay because, you know, we just haven't been online because we haven't been able to. And now, hopefully this solves our problems. We're gonna talk about it later whenever we install it and um, we'll see how it works over the next couple months. Wow. Look at that. Well, the afternoon has kind of gotten away from us a little bit. We were working on our computers. We had dinner with another looper couple on Valare. And now here we are. <laughs> it is, what time? 11.50 11 at night. 11.50 at night. There is some absolutely atrocious weather coming up lake michigan the next few days we have a southerly and what we heard on michigan is what you really have to watch out for are southerlies and northerlies because that's the direction uh where that has the most fetch on lake michigan and so it's like five or six footers up in our section of the lake which is an absolute no-go so we're gonna stay here in Mackinac city get some work done, and, and also check out the town. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Did I wake you up from your nap? You can go back to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs>